Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you my PvP slash PvE build. With this build, I'm able to 5 cycle chaser, normally 4, but later in this video you will see that I actually do 5 cycle chaser instead of 4 times. But uh, yeah, I'd say this build is really good for a uh, PvE build, because uh, um, it's light, and light usually isn't really that good for PvE. But for this build, it's actually really good for PvE. My enchant is Obfuscation. I'm not sure if that's how you say it right. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's just start the video. I uh, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting close to uh, the bounder. So you can see me kill a bounder with this build real quick. Alright, let me just go over here and hopefully it spawns. Like right in front of me. Okay, never mind. Okay. So, parry. And it should be dead right now. It's like that's how fast we killed it. Like that was, that was fast. Like for a light weapon, this is really good. All right, uh, I'll just uh, continue off to chaser now. Okay, guys, we are almost a chaser, and you guys will be able to um, see me four cycle chaser. And uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, chaser got buffed or nerfed recently because I haven't been playing debulking that much. But I'm able to four. Uh, four cycling i count that as pretty good so just do three hits and then talk to him and then you get two free hits so you can flourish him okay all right for the first cycle we're gonna have to just ignore or we're just gonna have to break this okay roll that nice okay now we could just okay we got hit by that all right let's just start it up we flourish him and then we rising shadow and then okay i kind of messed it up a little bit it's fine it's going to be a four cycle anyways because um, just that's just how my build works. We're gonna four cycle him no matter what. Uh, Cause I do enough damage to four cycle him. Okay. One, two, three. Flourish. Rising shadow. Okay. Yep. Stage two. We don't even need the rising sta shadow. All right. Roll that. And then, yeah, we re-roll these. This is sort of like a PvP slash PvE build, which is like hella useful. Oh no. Okay. Nice. We can just spit on him, just for some extra HP. And then, boom. And uh, just uh, one more cycle and then uh, we win. Oh no. I need a HP kit on this build. Oh no, I thought I rolled that. Okay, this is bad. This is pretty bad. Okay. Wait, there's two of them. I'm trolling. I'm actually trolling. Okay. Okay, we go here. Then go here. Hopefully he just falls down. But I think he's healing from that. Okay. Yo, this is so annoying to get. Okay, he's healing all the way from that. Okay. Let's just reinforce from su for some extra damage. Because he did heal from that. Is that... Is that GG? No, it is not. Okay, one more cycle then, because he did heal from the little things a lot. 
Uh, I don't know why he isn't using any moves. Okay, one more cycle it is then. He did heal quite a lot from that. Okay. Five cycle, I guess. Alright. GG. Alright. Yep, five cycle. It should have been a four cycle if only I got in that uh, last blood uh, blood jar quicker. That thing healed him so much. Okay, well, GG's. And, uh... Yeah, I really need an HP kit. Oh my god. He's doing hella damage. So this is a good PvP slash PvE build. Uh, I haven't really used it for PvP much since I do need an HP pack. Nine minutes. And, uh... Yeah, pretty bad loot. Uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, peace.